how you got your start in the industry? So I started almost 20 years ago. Uh, I'm originally from Portugal. Uh, so I started working in an agency there and that brought me to uh, different countries and ultimately to New York. Uh, I've worked in Spain, I've worked in London, I've worked in Paris, and I've been working in New York for almost nine years now. So. And what's your typical day look like as an agent? Uh, every day is very different, right? Uh, you never know what might happen that day, but normally it starts uh, with a cup of coffee and a first round through the emails while I'm still at home. Uh, I go to the gym and I uh, work out, I come back, I look at the emails again and I walk the dog. And then so when I'm in the office, when I arrive in the office around 9.30 in the morning, I get an idea of how my day is going to be. And, you know, basically I talk with a lot of people and uh, I talk with a lot of models, I talk with a lot of clients, we have a lot of meetings as a team. Uh, and uh, a big part of it is um, giving the, the, the models an update of what's happening with their work and planning what we're going to do next. Uh, but it's a lot of emails and a lot of phone calls, yeah. What do you look for in a new face? Uh, you know, it's always uh, changing, but, you know, I guess the only thing through, I mean, through 20 years doing this, uh, the parameters have changed. But I guess the only thing that remains the same is that we're looking for special people. Obviously, they have to look special. Uh, and more and more, we're looking for people who also have other talents, you know. Um, being beautiful and having a certain hype, it is important. It will get you uh, noticed. But for you to really sustain uh, a career in the days of social media as we are, you have to be able to communicate uh, with an audience directly and have a talent to keep people engaged. So we're looking a lot into that as well, yes. And how would a new model get work in the industry? Normally, in our agency, which is very fashion uh, oriented, we would sign models that we think have a potential, we would sign new faces that we think have a potential to start with fashion shows. So all the work uh, prior to a fashion week is done in preparing the model's portfolio, teaching them how to walk, and uh, arranging meetings for the models to meet the main casting directors that cast for the main shows. So, so you, you know, that's the preparation. And then when Fashion Week comes, we want to launch the models in certain specific shows that will give them visibility to then shoot editorial and shoot campaigns. Okay, that's perfect. And that kind of leads me into um, my next question. So what photos are necessary for a new face to have for CMTC or just um, even outside of CMTC? So, you know, you don't need to have a portfolio to start in the industry. Uh, that is something that will come through work naturally. And, you know, if you, you can spend hundreds of dollars, sometimes thousands of dollars getting a portfolio, and that is not going to... Uh, guarantee that you will ever have a contract with an agency. So uh, the best way to start is for you to, uh, in this case, for example, uh, send some very natural digitals of yourself without makeup, without any complicated uh, hairdos and just simple clothes and just your, some very natural digitals that your friend, your mother can take of you and send them to the CMTC. And if, if you have what is uh, wanted in the fashion industry, they will call you and they will ask you to come and meet them. And then, it, you know, once you have an agency, once you have management, uh, that management, that agency will start organizing photo shoots that will be the first pictures that you will have on your portfolio. Awesome. So now if we could talk about photo movement and runway. So how can a new face practice those things? Um, what are your best recommendations? So I think the best is, uh, you know, you should, as a model, you should educate yourself about the industry that you are, that you want to be in, right? So that means uh, having a knowledge of 
who are the photographers, who are the magazines, what are the important shows, etc. So that should be uh, your first step, should be for you to go online and look at the Vogue's, uh, go online and look at uh, the main fashion shows of all the big brands that we know, and see how those girls, they pose for the photo shoots, and see how those girls, they walk on those shows. Um, but I actually don't think that you need to have, again, you don't need to have tremendous experience to start. You just have to know how to feel comfortable in front of a camera and have an open mind because, uh, you know, you will, if you become a successful model, you will work with a very wide range uh, of different people. Uh, in terms of in terms of photo shoots, for example, so you have to be open to and uh, and listen to what the photographer wants, and in a way, be some sort of an actor that you can uh, em embody the kind of character that they're asking for you. So that uh, in regards of photo shoots, in terms of uh, fashion shows, you don't have to have a very complicated walk. You have to be able to walk comfortably and naturally on high heels. So my advice would be, uh, which is the advice I give to all the new face of our agency, get a pair of high heels that you feel comfortable with and just walk the max that you can on them on daily, on daily chores. Like, you know, if you need to go to, I don't know, to your corner store to get some milk, you know, if it's a five minute walk, Wear your heels, so you 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 feel very comfortable with them, and they become second nature to you. And that's all that you need, uh, because that's what happens uh, most of the time in the beginning. Is that you know, normally fifteen year old girls are not walking on heels every single day. So when they put a pair on, uh, they they feel very uncomfortable and, and they feel very awkward on them, and that's natural. So the the so we just want them to practicing practice walking on heels as much as they can. And and the rest, again, every client is uh, different. And some shows will want you to, to walk in a certain way and the, next sh and the next show will want you to walk in a different way. And to, that, is all, that, that is all the knowledge that you gain through experience and from doing more fashion weeks and more fashion shoes. What advice might you give to new faces going to castings or callbacks at CMTC? Um, I, good question. Mm -hmm. Um, just be yourselves. Uh, you know, don't, again, the most important thing is that, first of all, you have fun with it. It's a fun experience. And that, you know, just try to, uh, be as natural as you can. And there's not really one formula. Mm -hmm. The best way is for you to be yourself um be the best that you can meaning you know have a healthy lifestyle uh, practice sports eat food uh, real food take care of yourself the best that you can and enjoy the experience because our job really you don't have to do much our job is to really find the talent and that's what we've been uh, honed and practiced all these years to really spot talent so you know if you have what we're looking for we will hopefully spot it. Your job is just to be in the best that you can. And that's all. Do you have any lifestyle tips for models and new faces in general? Yeah, you you know, there's, I think the good thing is the information today is, uh, sorry, my dog just showed up. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> uh, she can just sniff around. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of information out there and everyone, says the same thing and it applies to modeling modeling uh you know it is kind of like it has the pressures of an athlete uh career you have to to be in the best shape that you that you can you have to have great skin you have to have great hair the ways to obtain that are not by starving yourself are not by smoking, are not by, uh, you know, having bad lifestyle habits. The ways for you to be the best that you can are practice sports, um, eat healthy, wholesome food, 
drink plenty of water and uh, and just have a healthy lifestyle. Uh, and I think if you have that, that's all that you need to maintain a, a successful career as a model. I don't think there is, everyone is very different. And what is important is that you practice a healthy lifestyle and um and that should be enough i guess why do you like to scout new faces at cmtc you guys are the best yeah. because you guys, are <laughs> because you guys have a very long track record uh you have successfully found amazing girls that uh, i've had the opportunity of working uh with through the years uh, it's a huge brand, and we totally trust uh, Audra and everyone involved at the CMTC's uh, eye. And we just know that that's a place that we're going to find great girls. So, so that's why we like working with you. <laughs> and not only not only finding great girls, but also the follow up from that is uh, also extremely uh, high level. You know how to take care of the girls afterwards. You know you have the relationships within the industry. Thank you. Okay, last question. Your best piece of advice on how new faces can prepare for CMTC? Practice sports, eat healthy, enjoy the experience, uh, be the best expression of yourselves uh, as you can be and enjoy the process. And the good thing is that you're in very good hands. So uh, Audra and everyone else is going to give you the guidance that you need. All you need to do is just take really good care of yourselves, be healthy, uh, and and enjoy the experience. Amazing. That's everything, Nuno. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you much. Know. Have a great day. Thanks. Have a Bye. great day. Bye.